Hello guys, how you doing? Um, right, what we're doing today, we are literally about five meters from my house, which is that way. Um, and then some little paddocks. Uh, you might remember on one of the other videos, we got the all the World War One stuff and the gold ring and a few other bits. Well, we've just come across the road. Um, so I'm literally out the back of my house. Um, and I've been in here briefly with, well, I don't even remember what I took in here. I think the 900. Come in with the Manticore today. Um, we're just going to have a little look around so it's no testing, no anything like that. We're just going out and we're going detecting and I'm taking you guys with me. Let's go and see what we can find. So I thought I'd show you this one. Um, I've wandered around in this little paddock for a while now and not a lot come up so far. Um, but nice, high... Repeatable 75, 76. So we're going to have that out and I'll uh, record this one so we can see what's going on. It's getting a bit drizzly now, it's not as warm as it was. Right, we've got that turf. Let's have a little look. Stay in the hole. Get the old pinpointer on the job. Actually, charged this up for the first time in about three months last night um lasts forever this thing right oh right it's right on the top what we got oh it's either a bit buttony or a bit coiny i'm going for button no i was wrong it's a coin can't see much detail on there Give it rubbing my jeans. No. Oh, can I make something out? No, not quite. That one's had it. Right, let's keep looking. This has just come up. Um, steady 69. What it is, in fact, is uh, a broken off pot leg. So, medieval, post medieval cauldron, cooking pot. This would have sat on the bottom. Um, this was the bit that had been mounted to the, uh, the cauldron. This would have been the foot. There's a bit of that broken off as well. But yeah, nice. So I mentioned about these fields being possible World War I training camps or encampments, but most of the stuff I've been having up is army related, which is this little lovely little naval button up. You can see the, uh, the anchor and the rope wrap around it. Very nice, tiny little thing. Loads of military stuff around here. Right, let's keep going. Well, that took a bit of hunting. That was uh, quite a deep hole, but what it was, I think, yeah, the bezel from a pocket watch. Some gold gilding on there, would have been quite a nice little watch that. Shame the rest of it's not there. But um look at the depth of that. Deep old hole. Right. Keep going. So Viddy's just climbed through the fence to join me and he's brought me a present. Lovely. That doesn't stink at all. The tiniest little thimble ever. Tiny little child's thimble. Yeah, cute. Vinny's entertaining himself. Raymond's still digging away. And I just found that little tiny thing. Don't think it's that old, but Victorian maybe. Cool. So I just had this up. Um, don't know if you can read it there on the camera, but um, West Indian Regiment. So I would assume, possibly that's pre-World War I. Um, get some sunshine on it, I'm trying to get this, there we go. Yeah, I do like a different sort of style military button, something that's a bit different to the norm. Lovely, all right, let's go and see what else we can find. Not a massive signal, 94, 95. And quite battered, but we've got 
a cartwheel penny to well, yeah, cartwheel penny to add to the uh, to the collection of all the other cartwheel pennies. This side's pretty much gone. Well, there be still some detail left on it, but you can just make out the rim. Big chunky old things. Imagine carrying those around in your pocket. Good. Another coin. This time, a little bit different. Don't know if you can make that out, but that's Napoleon III. Uh, you find quite a few French coins up here in Scotland, to be honest. So um, it's not uncommon to find these. Um, and they normally, now this one's quite beaten up, but they normally come out in really good condition. I've got some quite nice examples at home. Um, but yeah, something a little bit different. Right, let's find some more coins. I want something old, old, at least medieval. Another little coin. Can't quite my, make out any detail on it. Might clean up. I thought it might have been a turner or something like that. Um, almost feels a bit heavy for that. Who knows? This one was about, uh, well, I don't know, 18, 19, bit of a low grunt. But it looks like we've got a bit of spoonage. Every dig I go on, it doesn't matter where you go. You look at Yeah, here we go. Every field can be on the middle of a mountain, in the middle of nowhere. There's always a spoon or a part of a spoon. I could still use that. Let's straighten it. Can I straighten it one-handed? Bend it on my knee. Well, I could straighten it, but now I've broken it. Can't use it anymore. <laughs> Never mind. Always a spoon. Right, guys. Last signal. I'm heading to the gate, which is there. And got very deep. It's out. It's in here somewhere. So we'll dig it out together. And, uh, and then it's time to head home, I think. There we are, what have we got? Padlock, I think. Yeah, what is that? Is it a padlock or is it a badge? Yeah, what have we got? Oh! What is that? Ha, ah, I know what that is. I don't know if you can make that out. I think that is a Girl Guides badge. Bizarrely enough, I found a girl's guide badge in the garden as well. Same sort of pattern, that's why I sort of recognise it so quick. Let me give it a clean up and I'll come back to you. Yeah, little good guy's badge. I don't know how old that would be. Maybe... I don't know, 40s? Earlier? I don't know actually when the... When were the girl guides created? I have no idea, so I'm just guessing at how old that is. You tell me. And just like that, I'm back home in the warmth and in the office. Um, Right, so thanks if you're still watching. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Again, not a comparison video, just getting out there, having a little uh, bit of fun using the manticore. Don't forget Hidden 10, the discount code for Joe and Alan on pretty much everything that they've got there for sale. Um, that will give you a 10% discount. So use that and that's for you guys, the subscribers, to use. Um, please do comment, like and subscribe and hit the notification button because in there we are, in two days time I'm off to Nuremberg in Germany, going to go and meet the manufacturer. So we're going to be out there with MindLab, we're going to be there with Quest and Nocta. Um, so we're going to be looking at MindLab's new Xter, looking at Quest's new V80 and all the other things. They've got some exciting things in the pipeline and I'm um, going to go over and uh, see the Nocta guys. Um, lots of things to talk about with them so it should be quite exciting so i'll be just putting out snippets um, and there'll be edits and short edits in the evenings and things like that so for the from sort of thursday onwards there's going to be videos coming out with all the new stuff so don't forget the discount code please do like comment subscribe also i always mention this but let me know where you're watching from it's really interesting to see uh see where you guys are around the world so till the next video thanks for watching take care and uh, we'll see you from nuremberg in germany